All right, so I pretty much built everything, built it up to the height that I like it. I have one straggler out here, one one weaver this this out there like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and clip that off. I'm gonna clip it long <clears throat> so I can work it in if I need to for some reason. Um, and so now I want to bend the uh, spokes down to make a nice little rim. Now I ended up um, um, using a spoke that uh, broke on me. Um, and that's okay. When we get to this, we will we'll deal with it, um, and we'll just insert another spoke in here, and get rid of this one, or at least shorten it down. It won't it won't stop our progress. But I wanted to show this <clears throat> just in case that happens to you. Um, and again, I'm using very rustic materials. I'm not a basket weaver. I'm not a basket maker. Uh, I'm, I guess I would be now that I've made a basket or two, uh, but I'm not trying to take these to market and sell them and 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 think that they're they're going to compete against uh, world class basket weavers and makers. Uh, definitely not. That's 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 a skill set that um, takes many many years uh, and lots and lots of time and patience to get. And I understand it. Anyways, um, <clears throat> for a quick and dirty project, here we here we have it. So, um, what I'm going to do is we're going to start here with this spoke right here, okay? This one here. And what I'm going to do, and all I have to do is just fold it down and take it. <clears throat> I just want to just fold it down, just like so. It's going to force it down. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this all the way around. I'm going to force this down. <clears throat> just like that and it's gonna go down behind its next neighbor so I'm gonna force it down behind the neighbor its neighbor just like that okay and then this one here I'll force this one down <clears throat> behind its, its neighbor like that and again sometimes we can we may have to because it'll it'll want to build up a little bit and because I want this to, to not build up too much and maybe I have to snip so I'm not doing so much residual <coughs> contact from other places so we're just gonna build it we're gonna force this down and then this one here can go down just like so, I want to lay it down, and we're going to continue going around. Now this, we're, we've come to here, so what I need to do is I need to force in another weaver, uh, and we're going to use our shim, <coughs> or our bodkin, and force it in and stick another spoke in there, and it's going to help us uh, form a rim uh, when we're, we're done with this. So I'm adding another. I'm adding another spoke here. I'm just forcing this down gently, or rather, <clears throat> securely in there so they can fold down. Okay, so as all of these pieces start to fold down, as we start to begin our, our uh, the making of our rim and keeping everything down, I'm going to go behind this one. Sometimes it wants to uh, fight you, so therefore we can use an extra tool, a pair of needle nose pliers, <clears throat> and give it a little extra uh, persuasion. We'll do that, okay. and we're just going to keep um, going around and around behind its neighbor, forcing it down, and that's the new one we did, that we just spliced in modern tool, pair of needle nose pliers and kind of give it a kink and go ahead, that'll help me <clears throat> force it down so it's flush like so okay. and another one we'll go down like so 
then another one. Pull it out like so. That wants to break, but that'll be just fine. Then another one. <clears throat> we'll go down. All right, and so then we're left with one that is. Uh, So we're left with one that has to go down. And this is actually where it begins to tuck. So we're gonna tuck this into this space here. Hope you can see that. And we're just gonna tuck that in there. So and that's the beauty of this type of material is I can go ahead and start at the very tip and feed that through there and pull it through. Okay. And that'll start to tuck in there. Okay. Now we're gonna finish off by um, every next weaver should tuck underneath its neighbor going inward all right so for example I'm going to take this one and I'm gonna go underneath all right so this is this one here I'm gonna use this one this one's gonna go up and I'm gonna tuck it underneath that one in this way so I'm gonna take the very tip and feed it underneath make some room and use this to kind of pull it through like that okay and it'll go for the next one okay and some of these are kind of up high so give a little persuasion to get down like that okay and then therefore I can take this one and I can work it around and push it in take the next one do the same thing okay tuck it in and I'm just gonna work this all the way around like so okay and just so I don't lose my place the inward, the in ones, the ones that are in the inside, I just go ahead and snip because we're done. And snip so I don't end up losing my place once I tuck stuff in. And it can happen that way. Okay? So this one will go into its neighbor, which will go into this one. I'll kind of warn it by bending it, letting it know gently that I'm about to pull it in <clears throat> force it through and then <clears throat> and pull it through there and I can do it snap like that right and then I do it to the very next one oops a daisy hear that cracks not good I mean it didn't get dry enough so go ahead and Hopefully let it hopefully it'll work with us. Might as well just push that through. There we go. And that snip that. Okay. And then well, make this kind of help us give a little bit more room as we down a bit, help it behave, and I'll force this through, nice, and that'll, that'll tuck in there. So we're starting to build kind of a crown, or at least a closed rim, like so, okay, 
for this particular style of basket. Okay, so I'm just keep going around. There's many different ways to do this. Uh, I'm finding out, and it's like it's one of those things. That I'm the type of person that will get lost in this sort of thing. It's just like next thing I know, I'm like, I want to be, I want to be doing basketry, and I'll just focus on basketry for like the next year and a half, um, and the different weaves and stuff like that. I.